Hi there, I'm Jason from the Pocket Film Academy and today I am super amped to be taking you on an inside look inside the Pocket Production Kit. Check it out, the sexy little tin here packed full of goodies to completely change your video making game on your smartphone. Now for years people have asked me, Jace, uh, I want to pick up some skills in video on my smartphone, but what kind of a mic do I need? Where do I get a light? What do I do about a tripod? How do I attach it to a tripod? Uh, all these things are pretty much answered inside this all-in-one kit. We've managed to make these for less than $100 shipped anywhere in the world. Super proud of that. And this is a game changer because as far as I know, I don't know of any other kit that's out there in existence currently where you can actually get a microphone, a light, some stability gear and a Bluetooth shutter remote all in the one pack. With this, it's cheap, it's fun, you can jump right in and get started after watching this video and you can start making way better videos than what you have been making. All right, all right, all right, that's enough yak from me. Let's open this little baby up, let's check out the components and see what they can do. Tell me, how many times have you gone to record a video on your smartphone and been less than impressed with the sound quality of your video? Good news is, you're not alone. So many people find audio on their smartphone videos the number one thing that really gets them worked up in a frenzy. Because your smartphone is made for recording sound nice and close to the microphones on your phone. In other words, when it's this close to your face, like when you're making a phone call, those mics on your phone work great. But as soon as you step any distance away from the camera, the sound is anything less than desirable. This is the lapel microphone that's included in your pocket production kit. We're filming with one right now, so the audio you're hearing is coming through exactly the same microphone. Now I've unplugged the microphone from my smartphone and you'll hear a distinct difference in the audio quality. I'm only standing less than a meter away from this camera right here, however, you'll hear a lot more background sound. You can probably hear more traffic outside, you can hear a lot more echo, a lot more reverb in the room. And this is with me standing relatively close to the camera. So a microphone like this is vitally important to picking up nice crystal clear sound. Let's plug this one back in again and continue the conversation. Voila! Okay, now we're plugged back in again. You can hear nice crisp sound coming in through the lapel microphone right here. It's the exact same one I'm using in the kit. So what is a lapel microphone? A lapel microphone is actually tiny. Now you would have seen people use these when you watch the news, for instance, you see journalists online uh, recording in the field. You'll see them with a little microphone like this plugged on the collar of their shirt. Um, it is made up of a little foam pop shield which goes over the mic. I'm just going to take this one off so you can see what's underneath. Let's take it off carefully there. That's the actual microphone right there. Can you see that? So it's tiny. It's a very small microphone capsule. This little foam windsock or pop shield goes straight over the, the top here. That's there to help uh, protect the microphone from any spit when you're speaking. So if you say P, T, S, any of those sorts of things, sometimes a little bit of spit flies out. Rather than it hitting the microphone, it's gonna hit that little pop shield, that little foam shield there, and stop it creating this big sound distortion on your mic. The thing I love about this particular microphone, there's many things I love about this lapel microphone. First of all, uh, I've seen people buy lapel microphones online before and been less than impressed with the cord length because they can't really get this far away from the camera to actually record video. Uh, this one's got a 1.5 meter cord, so it's long enough to get this distance away from your smartphone and still do a piece to camera, which I love. The next thing I like is this little hand, handy built-in clip. So you can utilize this to clip it on the edge of a jacket, a tie, piece of clothing, whatever it might be. Um, I've got mine plugged on my, the edge of the collar of my t-shirt right here. It's still picking up nice, crisp, clear sound. You can also take the clip off and you can actually attach the lapel microphone under clothing to the skin with some skin safe tape if you want. Or I've even seen people do some really clever things like hide them inside the collar of a shirt that you're wearing. An important feature of the lapel microphone for you uh, is the fact that it comes with a particular type of connector. Now, if you look at this pin, it actually has three little bands of black along the length of the pin. Now, that's called a TRRS connector. This is the kind of pin you need to work with a smartphone audio connection. 
most microphones we buy uh, available in the store or online are only a TRS connection. They have two of those little black collars on there and they will not work with your smartphone. So you've got to look for a TRRS, three little black stripes along the collar of the pin um, for that to be able to work with your smartphone. And luckily, the one you're getting in your pocket production kit is the right one for smartphones. It would be pretty bad if I got the wrong one, wouldn't it? Now, as I said, this is a universal lapel microphone that'll work on any smartphone. However, if you have a late model iPhone, that's anything iPhone 7 uh, forward, you will notice you don't have a headphone jack anymore. But that's okay, because if you dig through the original packaging that came with your phone, you will find, or should find, one of these little guys. Now, this is a mini jack to lightning cable. Uh, it was packed on the back of the earbuds uh, in your iPhone packaging. However, if you lost it, just call your local Apple store, jump in, visit them. They've got spares, you can just buy them individually. You connect the pin directly into the adapter and then plug it straight into the lightning jack on your iPhone. In closing, what I want you to do is, I guess, stop this video, plug this in and start playing straight away so you know how amazing the sound quality of this microphone is. But a word of caution, when you record a video and you go to play back the video, Make sure you unplug the microphone from your smartphone because if you leave it plugged in and you press the video playback, it thinks you've got headphones plugged in, you won't hear the sound. So don't fret. If you plug this in, record some audio and go to playback and you don't hear anything, it's probably because you've still got the mic plugged in. So pull it out, press play, and you're away. Have you ever been in a group situation where you want to capture an image or some video, your smartphone is over there, you've got everyone over here, you're trying to get the timer to work and it just kind of misfires and trying to get everyone together again, it's just too hard and you just forget about it and you lose the opportunity. Well, the Bluetooth shutter remote that's included in your pocket production kit is there to save the day. This is fantastic because it works not only with stills camera mode, but also the video mode in your camera app. In fact, it works at releasing the shutter in any photo video mode you're in. There's two buttons on here, there's an Android button and an iOS button. So if you run an iPhone, you click the top one. If you run an Android platform phone, you click the bottom one. Now on the side here is a little power switch. You'll notice a little slide up power switch. It's in the off position when you pull it out of the packet. Simply slide that on like so. Little blue light will flash in the corner. That's pairing with your phone. Now, if you go to your Bluetooth settings on your phone, it should come up as a uh, a Bluetooth shutter, you'll see the name of it coming up. Um, have a look at the little paper guide that's inside your pocket production kit. That gives you the full details of how to pair it with your phone specifically. But once you've got that in there, you've connected it via your phone, you can just simply go away and start shooting now. You can utilize this in your pocket. You can be anywhere. In fact, I can just turn off this recording right now. Well, hopefully that worked. That's the Bluetooth shutter remote. It is fantastic keeping in your pocket. It gives you remote access to stopping and starting your video recording or your photo taking on your smartphone, wherever you are. Let there be light. Well, let's be honest. Lighting often lets smartphone videos down. Particularly when people film indoors, we see the picture looks kind of muddy and speckly and noisy and just blah. So a quick way to fix any indoor videos you shoot, particularly when there's no natural light, is to add an accessory light. Now, the thing I love about the little clip-on light we include in the pocket uh, production kit is it's so light, like it's, it's literally, you know, I don't know, it's, it's less than a packet of chewing gum, it is so light. It attaches to your phone in a very simple little clip fashion like so. So if I just show that to the camera, you open the little clip up and you simply slide it on your phone. In fact, let's do that. Here we go. A great way to position it is close to the lens if you can, because particularly if you're doing a video piece to camera, you want that light closest to the lens where you're actually looking to. But you can attach it pretty much anywhere. It doesn't really matter. You can uh, put it anywhere you want around your phone. Just make sure you're not covering up A, your lens or a microphone or um, a light meter or a light sensor. To recharge it, you simply open up the clip like so, and there's a micro USB uh, port inside there. It comes with a little cable so you can plug it in and just attach it to a USB port and charge it. Now it takes roughly a full hour to charge the uh, the light itself but once it is fully charged here's something spectacular. Turn around, let's turn it on. Tiny little button, little round button. Now if we simply press that, press it once, it turns on and it's got three power settings. If I press it again that's medium and that's high. All right that's pretty cool. Check that out. So off low, medium, 
and high. That's an astounding amount of light in such a tiny form factor. It's great because there's this softening disc on the front of the light. So you'll notice when you shine it on someone's face, it's not a real harsh, bright light. It's a nice, soft, washed light. So it's not going to introduce lots of ugly shadows, which is a thing you don't want to do when you turn on a light. So that's the Clip-On Soft Video Light. I'm a huge fan. This thing has saved my butt numerous times. So make sure you give it a full charge, whack it on your camera, go out and do some shooting, and I'm sure you'll love it. Now one of my bugbears of smartphones and smartphone cases is I've yet to see anyone bring out one which has a tripod thread mount in the base of either the phone or the phone case. Right? You always need to buy bigger accessory things to do that. So inside the pocket production kit we have this, a smartphone clamp. It essentially creates a, a nice solid connection between your smartphone and any kind of stability legs or devices you want to attach to it. It's expandable in that you simply pull this little spring-loaded latch and it'll comfortably fit any size phone from a regular phone to a plus size phone. You can just put it around your phone like that. This is on an iPhone XS and it's a nice solid hold on your phone. What this does is it gives us this tripod screw mount in the base of the smartphone clamp, which is where our next little device comes in, which is the tripod tabletop legs. Now this guy is the second part to this solution. You simply screw it on to the bottom of your smartphone grip and voila you now have a nice steady base on your phone. In fact I can pull these legs out and create a tabletop base like so. Super rock steady, beautiful for shooting vlogs, interviews, um, time lapses, anything like that. This base is great for that. Or else I can also fold it, those legs up and I can hold this in what's called a pistol grip. Now this is a really, really convenient grip for filming with. It's nice and steady. You can hold your arm nice rock steady this way or brace it back to your body um, and simply turn around using your hips. This is a fantastic way to achieve nice rock steady shooting, particularly if you're filming for any length of time. Love it. Are you ready for what's possibly my favorite? piece of the entire pocket production kit because this thing you'll be dragging out at parties, at barbecues, at school, wherever you go, you'll be showing people this because it's got that wow factor. It's ingenious, it's simple, it is so clever, you will use it every single week because it is the bottle lid screw mount. Now this thing is made from metal, okay? It is red, it's sexy, it's sturdy and we've got this tr uh, tripod thread mount on the top and what we have on the inside is a bottle screw mount. So what we can do is we simply attach this to the base of our smartphone grip, like so, like we did with the tripod legs before. And then we attach that to a bottle. And once we put a bottle under there, the whole game changes. Check this out. Now we have a weighted base for our smartphone. This thing you can throw in your bag, you can go traveling and wherever you go in the world, you'll be able to find a drink bottle from any shop, corner shop, that takes this particular fitting. It's universal. So now I can add my smartphone grip on the top of that, put my phone in, I can stick it on a brick wall, a table, a chair, wherever, and I can achieve a weighted base for the camera, which means if I'm trying to film, say, time lapses outdoors, uh, or slow motion and I want it to be rock steady and there's a bit of wind blowing, this weighted base is actually going to help keep the camera steady. Okay, now I'm going to let you in on a little secret and that is this very same outfit is going to be the world's cheapest gimbal you've ever used. Now when I say gimbal, have you seen those crazy devices people plug their phones in, into and they can walk around and it takes out all the movement, all the bumps and creates nice smooth video. They are amazing. I love using them. However, if I'm stuck somewhere if I'm overseas and I'm only carrying what I've got in my pocket, I can fit the phone clamp and that little bottle cap in my pocket easily. I can buy a drink bottle from the corner store, fill it up, and then simply walk around like so, holding the neck of the bottle, like either with your fingers like that or like so. And this goes a long way towards cushioning out any of the movement because this is a weighted base for your camera. It helps give it mass. And as you're on the move, it helps pillow and smooth out any moves that your camera's going through. You won't get those sharp, jittery moves when you're walking like you normally do. So try it. It takes a little bit of practice, but if you get it right, it looks incredible. 
Is your mind blown? Has it just blown a little bit? Because mine has. This thing is going to change the game when it comes to your pocket filmmaking. The pocket production kit has six incredibly functional, fun, intuitive accessories that's going to change the game for your mobile filmmaking. Now it's important you get out there, play and learn and use these things whenever you can. It's small enough to fit in your bag, the glove box of your car, your drawer at work, wherever you keep it. Keep it close by. It's no good to you if you keep it locked away in a bag at home and you never look at it, okay? Keep this thing close by and after a week or two you'll see how useful this is for the videos that you shoot. Go out, have fun. Make sure you check out all my other free tips on the Pocket Film Academy YouTube channel. I'd love to see you there. Drop a comment, let me know how you go. See ya.